Hello and welcome. Most of you have heard of the term artificial intelligence. But what does it mean? How does it work? And how can it be used to help us in tackling COVID-19? I'm going to just give a very brief introduction on what artificial intelligence is. And then after that, you are going to review some recent papers on this topic. One of the best way of summarizing what artificial intelligence is, is by looking at a field like robotics. I expect most people to know about robots. So artificial intelligence is used to help them know what they are doing. There are several branches of artificial intelligence that have been put together for a robot to be able to function the way it functions. There's applied computer vision and object detection in robots, which is part of artificial intelligence. This deep learning for object det detection again. And there's also uh, a little bit of natural language processing so that the robot can also understand communication. So robotics is one of the areas where you can be able to put different aspects of artificial intelligence or different branches of artificial intelligence to be able to come up with something concrete that can in detail explain what this area is all about. Robotics is the one that has been applied mostly in hospitals to serve patients. Uh, you have seen that also in self-driving cars. That is application of robotics area of artificial intelligence. The area that I'm going that to, I'm going to get a little bit deeper into is machine learning. And machine learning is training computers using past data so that they can use it to learn for themselves to make future decisions. There is also another sub branch of machine learning that is called deep learning, and that is where uh, artificial intelligence has mostly been applied in to fight the menace that the world is currently facing. Okay, let's start by reviewing a paper from MIT and then after that we are going to look at some research papers, two research papers on this topic and finally we are going to look at a web-based application. We are going to look at an article from MIT. In their technology review, they have published an article that doctors are using artificial intelligence to triage COVID-19 patients. The tools may be here to stay. Triage is the process of determining the priority of patients' treatments by the severity of their condition or likelihood of recovery with and without treatment. This is being used at the Royal Bolton Hospital. It was being recommended for a trial, but before the trial could kick off, COVID-19 hit the UK. So it was applied as a result of the pandemic. So it was not developed for COVID-19, but since it's able to examine the chest using a chest X-ray images, it's working for the doctors to find out who is facing the highest risk. Let's now look at two research papers on COVID-19. These papers are still preprints, which means they have not been peer reviewed or they are under peer review. Therefore, they cannot be relied on. I'm just going to review them for use in educational purposes and uh, as a proof of concept. These papers have been published at archive.org, which is a free and open source journal, which means these are papers that you can read in their entirety without having to pay for anything. So the first one, COVID MNET, COVID-19 detection with multitask deep learning approaches. We are going to look at what deep learning is. I just want to, to read what the paper proposes, and this starts from here. This paper proposes a fast and efficient way to identify COVID-19 patients with multitask deep learning methods. Both X-ray and CT scan images are considered to evaluate the proposed 
technique then we are going to go to the conclusion of the research and this is about uh, the accuracy so the detection model shows around 84% testing accuracy from x-ray images and 98.78 almost 99% accuracy in CT images that is using artificial intelligence so deep learning is is a part of artificial intelligence but i'm going to to explain uh, in a little more detail in a later section not in this particular section so let's go to another paper this paper also published in archive.org the title of the paper is automatic detection of coronavirus disease covid-19 using x-ray images and deep convolutional neural networks this is the same as deep learning but this one is a little bit specific to what type of deep learning uh, that is employed in this paper we want to first find out what the paper is proposing let me highlight here so the paper proposes three different convolutional neural network based models for the detection of coronavirus pneumonia infected patient using chest x-ray radiographs let's now look at the accuracy of the results considering the performance results obtained during the research the research found out that the pre-trained ResNet 50 model provides the highest classification performance with 98% accuracy among its other two proposed models. That is 97% accuracy for inception version 3 and 87% accuracy for inception ResNet version 2. As you can see, the models are quite accurate. This is something that can be uh, used further to help doctors in making a decision on whether to subject this person to further tests or to confirm results that they had obtained in another session and they would want to have a second opinion so artificial intelligence can be used to give a second opinion to doctors uh, i think for for this particular objective to show you that uh, there's always some work ongoing on this topic i'm just going to cover the two papers but i'm mostly interested in another paper that is not related to covid 19 directly and this paper covers any disease that can be discovered through chest x-ray it proposes chester which is a web delivered locally computed chest x-ray disease prediction system it is proposing privacy and security of medical data in medical diagnosis it considers privacy and security of data in artificial intelligence the researchers in this paper have gone ahead and developed a very accessible prototype system which can be used by medical professionals to understand the reality of deep learning tools for chest x-ray diagnostics so this system is designed as a second opinion where a user can process an image to confirm or aid in their diagnosis you should not use this for medical purposes this is just a proof of concept uh, so now let's go to the real thing and uh, this is chester to access chester you need to go to this url mlmed.org uh, then we select chester then we need to go down here accept that this tool is not for medical use you need to accept that before you can proceed and give it some time to load so we are going to give it some time to load this is the preview of the system with a loaded image but we are going to use a google image so i'm going to go to google and search for pneumonia chest x-ray image to avoid bias i'm going to take the first image and right click on it and then save it on my desktop let's save it and go back to the system from the desktop we choose the image and wait for the system to analyze the image 
then if you look at it let's go to google and see childhood pneumonia radiology case so this person has pneumonia what is the prediction of pneumonia 55 percent which means at least the system is not neutral at 50 percent even if it's not at a very high risk the system can already detect that this person has pneumonia and that is the objective if it is in between where we have white the system is not sure whether this person is healthy or at risk if it's very high towards red the person is at a very high risk when it's very green the person is quite healthy so this is how this system explains and it's using artificial intelligence to uh, analyze this image and to get uh, the results on this other side so let's see the explanation of this give it some time it takes some time because this is a memory intensive process the sections that has small dots uh, the blue section is what helps the system to detect uh, these diseases the level of infiltration is a bit high at 71%, consolidation at 62%, and at 55% is quite high for pneumonia because it means the person already has the virus, which means there is a need for medication for this person to recover from what they are going through. To achieve this objective, it looks like a very simple task. What is more complicated in this whole process of deep learning is the process of training the model because if you have a lot of images it might take days with a normal computer it can take a week or more to get accurate results if you want to know about how much time was used to train this model go and read this paper if you're interested in understanding how you can develop this kind of a model I've prepared a course and hosted it on YouTube, but this is just for demonstration purposes. So it's very basic machine learning, but it's going to show you how you can transist from machine learning to deep learning because deep learning is a branch of machine learning. If you're interested to know how artificial intelligence works and even develop a simple application, join me on YouTube as I show you how you can do this using the versatile TensorFlow JS and one of the best JavaScript frameworks that is Vue.js. If you can integrate machine learning in a modern framework like Vue.js, uh, you, you can achieve a lot.